the informed investor. Thanks to Century 21. Smarter, bolder, faster. Go to century21.com.au. Well, this man needs no introduction. Charles Tarby, the chairman of Century 21 Australasia, joins Steve, of course, each Monday to take your calls on property. You might be thinking of buying or selling, maybe investing. You want a bit of advice? This is the best in the business. Give them a call, 131873. Good day, Charles. Thank you very much, Michael. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, nice to talk with you. Um, have we seen a bit of a, an uptick in auction rates now that the weather's warming up? Yeah, it was really bizarre, as you, you know, would have heard that all the talk about 60 Minutes and uh, their uh, report on property. Uh, the the market after that weekend really didn't go backwards to the extent that you might have expected because of, of um, all of the negative talk. In fact, auction clearance rates across the nation actually went up, only a small amount, but went up uh, in this last week. Uh, so that's probably a good thing. But, but interestingly enough, Sydney and Melbourne are in the 50s, whereas the hmm. best-performing city was Adelaide. It's always been between Adelaide and, and Brizzy uh, and Canberra in the last uh, month and a half, but Adelaide, I think, is probably winning the race overall. What's, 63% clearance rate. What's causing that? Look, it's one of those uh, locations, uh, not too dissimilar to Melbourne, but um, where there, were, there was a lot of proactivity from the state government, and they released land, they released suburbs, and there was that constant flow of property all the way through the boom. And I think what it did was it gave people enough uh, property to go and look and make an offer rather than turn up to an auction and, and bid furiously because they, they thought they might miss out. And so I, I think for that reason, Adelaide, if, if Adelaide's economy was more stable because, you know, you know I've gone through a, yeah. a terrible time. Yeah, if their economy had more stability, and it is getting that way, uh, it's always been a really good pick to buy real estate in. Great city, uh, beautiful... Um, Pretty nice property. houses. Yeah. yeah. Uh, amazing houses because, you know, it was, it, it was built initially uh, as an area... Uh, that was a long, long way away from obviously uh, Mother England, and, and they planned it beautifully. Uh, and and some of the properties there are absolutely stunning. And some of these properties you you might have bought for a very small amount of money have really gone crazy in this last boom cycle. Well, Tasmania is a bit like that too, isn't it? It is. Obviously, Tasmania is probably more of a lifestyle uh, change, whereas Adelaide, you can still go there and and you know, look for work and still be part of a stronger economy. Uh, and so I think uh, Adelaide they, they, and, and Brisbane now are starting to come alive. Uh, uh, Brisbane was touted as being the place two, three years ago, mm. uh, and it never really happened. Uh, but this time around, the, the, the agents I'm talking to, the C, the C21 guys in uh, Brisbane, are having a really good market. Uh, and uh, Brisbane was a capital city that has experienced good, strong rent growth again and good, strong auction clearance rates, better than this time last year. So it's just starting to come through now. I think Brisbane is now the place to start looking at, but everybody was talking about it as being the place two years ago. Well, we've heard it here from Charles. Okay, if you've got a question for Charles, by the way, about property, 131873, getting quick, uh, and we'll try to fit you on. Uh, UBS, Charles, warning that house prices could fall by as much as 10%. Is that nationwide, or is that sort of specific to the boom markets of Sydney and Melbourne? I, I think, well... I certainly did that in Perth and more, but that was a, a mining issue or a mining boom that really took hold and people mm. went a bit crazy. I think the Sydney and, and Melbourne market, the correction should probably be around that. Now, I'll tell you for why I uh, remember talking to Steve about this. My concern was when interest rates were lowered about a year and a half to two years ago for economic purposes, and it spurred on the market, it spurred on the boom in real estate, which went beyond where I believe it should have. And I think uh, if we go back uh, a couple of years ago or, or slightly less than... Whatever the prices were around there is where I think they'll settle. Not this uh, crash that that, uh, uh, that the the 60 Minutes report uh, brought forward. So I think there is going to be a correction, but it'll be a good correction, and it'll give it, it gives everybody a chance. This market's giving the first home buyers a chance to get into the market. So it, it comes and goes for each level of home buying and selling. Uh, and so those first home buyers now can get in there, buy a unit, uh, buy an apartment in Parramatta now, and uh, they, they can go into uh, Brisbane, Brisbane City, West End. There's a massive amount of apartments coming on the market there. Yeah, so if you're a first home buyer now, you are actually getting into a really strong position. Stock um, advertised for sale, it was in, it increased again by 1.05% this week over last week, and it's been doing progressively that every week. We're now at eight nine point eight two percent higher in stock levels 
advertised than we were this time last year. Fewer buyers, harder to get money. So you can see it's it's balancing itself back out again. What about the hotspots in, say, Sydney or Melbourne, Brisbane? For you mentioned them there, first home buyers. Got a couple of places to just yeah, pinpoint. I, I, the first home buyers are very fortunate in the Brisbane market, north side of Brisbane. Rail rail lines going all the way up through uh, uh, into the north side there, where it didn't used to before. Uh, there's still good quality homes there for in the fours, mid fours type price range, which is is my view affordable so long as you can get the work. Uh, Sydney, there's still. Uh, a bit tough, but in some of the areas uh, in and around the western suburbs of Sydney, I always referred to them in the past, Hebersham, uh, Darrick, those areas, there's still some affordable properties there. Uh, Melbourne has always had good affordability because they've been releasing suburbs as well. Mm. So I think first-home buyers have got a far bigger choice than they ever had. And because there are fewer investors, Michael, because the banks have really made it difficult for borrowing, uh, no longer is equity king. Just because you've got equity, it doesn't mean you can get money now. So quite a, a lot of the investors have been pushed out of the market. So it's really very, very good time for that first home buy. And, you know, the interesting thing, Michael, is that they don't have to rush. they still got the opportunity to look and take their time and look again rather than having that fear of missing out. Yeah, so the scramble's not quite on. Now, j- just in the last 40 or so seconds here, Charles, speaking of Adelaide before, one thing that Adelaide hasn't had that Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane have is the big population boom. I think 10,000 people moved to South Australia last year. 10,000 moved to Melbourne in about a few weeks. Yeah. So the property price is going up despite the population rally. It is moving along nicely. There's not, not too many places where it's a strong capital city where you can buy a... Uh, a brand new semi-detached house on a very small block of land for a couple of hundred thousand dollars, Michael. It's almost ridiculous. <laughs> almost ridiculous. Maybe I'll have a little dabble <laughs> myself. As you say, some Good nice houses. You, Good to talk, Charles. Yeah. Great to and catch up. to hear your voice too, Michael. Ditto. There we are. Charles Tarby there, of course, the chairman of Century 21 Australasia, by far the best in the business. But some interesting places, particularly there, Charles pointing out in Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane, for the first home buyers. Maybe to have a bit of a dabble and the key there, you don't need to rush.